Yo, welcome back to the channel. We're working on Courtney's 2012 Jeep Wrangler again. It's been having some random ABS issues, doing some weird things with the pedal, ABS lights coming on and off. Let's take it for a rip real quick, see if I can get it to do the thing, and then we'll try and fix it. Let's check it out. Got her going, and the ABS light's already on, but since Courtney drives this Jeep every day anyway, maybe she can explain a little bit better what and when it does. Sometimes when I try to hit the brakes, it stutters a little bit and it sounds a little bit like... Harsh braking or like turning and braking. But when it does do it, it'll ding at you. Sometimes the pedal will actually feel like the ABS is activating and kind of shudder underneath your... It's kind of hard to explain. I'm just going to keep the camera. See, the, the ABS light just turned off randomly. See there, the ABS light came on completely randomly. I wasn't hitting the brake. Downhill turn while hitting the brake, while turning. Nope. Can I drive? Oh, the light turned off. When did that happen? I don't know. Can I drive? Oh. Or I'll pull over at that farm. Let me drop the chicken off. All right, a little bit sharper of a corner with speed. There it went. Now Courtney's driving. See if that helps. Man, this is quite a hill start, babe. Yeah, it is. I know. Ooh, go, go, Good go. stuff. <laughs> Ooh, let her eat. <laughs> well, that's about the best we could do. We're heading down to the shop now, try and fix it. But that just kind of shows you how random it actually is. There's a couple different things that can go wrong. For it to have that issue it could be as bad as a abs module or what we're going to do today wheel bearings but specifically the wheel speed sensors swap these out and i'm pretty sure the problem's in the front i got rear ones ordered but they didn't get here so we're going to try that then we're going to check the alignment with these things they bolt to the hub and then last we'll straighten the steering wheel out after we do all that we'll take it for a drive see how it does got the battery disconnected while we do all this that way the computer will reset now we're going to jack up the front and pull off both the front wheels i don't know how to do this without feeling like a weirdo <laughs> yeah. to get to the wheel bearing first we need to take off the brake assembly the caliper and the caliper bracket. I'm gonna set that on a jack stand. Take the brake pads out. Then we'll crack the 21 millimeter caliper bracket bolts. Yeah. Remove the rotor. Now the axle shaft is attached to the wheel bearing, so we need to take off the axle shaft nut. 35 millimeter. Now we got three uh, 13 millimeter 12 point bolts holding the wheel bearing onto the knuckle and they're probably going to be really tight That's not the right side. Need some leverage All right, all the bolts are out one of them broke, but they're all out these bearings are usually seized on here pretty good So I have a little trick if we spin the hub so that one of the ears here line up with the knuckle and then while someone steers to the right you can do this by yourself, too It'll just force it right out. All right, go ahead. Like that. Right, Pops it right out of there. We got the old wheel bearing off the axle shaft, and I thought we just opened a whole can of worms just now. Luckily, we didn't. I went to put the axle shaft back in, and it was binding up on something, so I thought the inner axle seal blew apart or something. But apparently, they put these little guides, and it fell over, and it was just jamming it in there. And you don't even need these dumb things. I was worried. I'd pulled the front diff cover to investigate and luckily now we don't have to pull out the carrier all that's good so I'm gonna put the axle shaft back in hopefully without problem this time I'm gonna clean up the hole you don't need axle shaft guides hmm? Hmm? put the new wheel bearing on the sensor needs to be right about there and then we need to figure out where this plugs in. I think it's somewhere up in the engine bay. And then route the new ABS wire. I already cut the old one off, but that'll work. There's one side, kind of. Day two, I got this sensor unplugged. It plugs in right behind the shock tower here. Those two push pins are right here. And if you pull this panel back, you actually have pretty easy access. And then it's just snapped in here with some boots and zip ties. We'll get that routed up. 
and get two of the bolts started, I guess, because one of them broke. The dust shield here actually goes on before the wheel bearing, so I'm gonna need to switch that around quick. It fit pretty good, except for right here. Yeah, it looks good. And I got it clipped in up there on the shock tower, plugged back in. So we're pretty much good on this side. Now we'll head over to the other side. Courtney's gonna do that. We'll have to make a hardware run to finish putting this side together. Got the driver's side buttoned up as far as we could. None of these bolts broke off, so this uh, sensor wire was not long enough, so I had to kind of just zip tie it. But it works. Uh, we checked it full lock on both sides. Just not gonna be able to route it factory. So we're gonna make a run, and then we'll button this up. Good luck. Thank you. Courtney's off on the hardware run, and we're gonna hang back and check the alignment. These just go right on the hubs. Oh, had to improvise a little bit. These were made for an eight lug. Vice gripped them on there on both sides, they're level. Now we just gotta get the wheels kinda straight, which they pretty much are already. Gotta throw some tape measures on there. <laughs> Got the tape measures on here and some interesting results. 70 and three quarter exactly on the front. And then the back is just maybe a 16th of an inch wider. It has a slight toe in, but the interesting thing is the steering wheel is completely straight. So according to the hillbilly alignment, it's fine. But I know for a fact that going down the road, that wheel is to the left. So I think it's just a matter of adjusting the steering wheel, which is really easy. So once we have the front end back together and the wheels back on, and we drive it, pull it in completely straight, and wherever the wheel's at, we just have to loosen up the collar here on the drag link and adjust the steering wheel that way. So we'll do that later. Good job. I got the front diff button back up and Courtney has returned. You did good. Real nice. Good job. Thank you. Got this side buttoned up and I had this dust shield on backwards. And I think it's on backwards on this side. It is. So I gotta flip that around. Again, I got it flipped around looking right. Now we'll get the wheel bearings torqued down. 75 foot pounds. Got the rotor on there, caliper bracket. Get that snug down. And then those bracket bolts get 110 foot pounds. Calipers back on with the brake pads. And then we'll torque the caliper bolts to 26 foot pounds. Now that we got the brakes back together on both sides, we can torque down the axle nut. Courtney's gonna go inside, hold the brake pedal, and then I'll torque it down out here. Yes. Holding? I'm that big. <laughs> 100 foot pounds. All right, we're good. Gonna throw the wheels back on, get it back on the ground. Take it for a test drive. Got the battery hooked back up. Wheels are on and torqued. Just gotta get the C10 out of the way, and we'll take it for a test drive. It's still raining. That kinda sucks. Gotta make a quick swap. Why didn't they turn back off yet? <laughs> Minimal moisture on the C10. Just started up the hill and the ABS lights went off. We're gonna take a little test drive. See how she holds up. Back from our drive, went all the way to town and back. Still no lights. So I think we did it. So it looks like we got the issue fixed. I should mention that if you do just wanna change out the sensors, you just need to take out that little Allen screw. You don't need to replace the whole wheel bearings. And now for the rear sensors, whenever they get here, I guess we don't need them, so we'll throw them on the shelf. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.